guys, welcome back. Today I am so excited because we are gonna be doing an updated full face using only Dollar General makeup. I did a video like this a few months back and you guys really seemed to enjoy it. I really loved that video as well. Don't underestimate Dollar General because I've actually found some really great products there before and some of the products that I have tried from there are some of my holy grails to this day. So just because the makeup doesn't come from like Ulta or Target or Walmart doesn't mean it's not good, so. Don't underestimate. But yeah, I recently decided to go back and see what else they had. So I found a lot of new products that I had never tried before. I even got lashes, makeup brushes, just a bunch of new things. So I'm excited. I hope you are too. As always, don't forget to grab a snack because it's gonna be a long one, but I hope you enjoy and let's get started. All right guys, so as always, I'm gonna be starting off with the brows first. So the first thing that I got is this LA Colors Browy Wowie Brow Pencil and this one is in the shade Dark. I've actually heard really good things about this, so I'm pumped. This brow pencil retails for $2, which is like such a great deal. And it kind of reminds me of the Anastasia Brow Definer, because you can see it's like angled. So I'm gonna take this and just outline my natural brows. Okay, a little bit of it just broke, but we're still gonna make it work. So this was good. I would definitely repurchase this and maybe mine is just a bad, like I got a dud because it breaks constantly, but it's still good. I can work with it. So next up I have the Broadway Colors Eyebrow Kit. I got this one in this shade Dark Brown. Broadway Colors is actually a really popular brand at Dollar General. And for the most part, a lot of the stuff that I've tried has been pretty good. So I'm gonna be using a lot of their things today actually. So this was 360. You do get like a little brush, like it's so, so tiny. So I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. angled brush just because I wanna give this product a fair shot and I'm gonna dip into both of these shades right here I really don't think this is bad at all. Now, I always go in with a pomade, so that's just what I'm used to. Like, I personally just don't use brow powders anymore. I used to use it all the time in high school before I discovered pomades, but this is actually really nice, and I feel like it makes it really easy if you want something a little bit more natural. Obviously, my brows don't look natural, but if you're looking for something less harsh than a pomade, I think a brow powder is the way to go. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and clean up my brows with the Broadway Colors Conceal Cream in Light Nude. This comes with like an applicator, which is really nice. I'm gonna use this later on on my face, but for now, I'm gonna just use it to clean up the brows. And typically, I use a shade that is like a little bit lighter than my skin tone. This one seems to be like a shade darker than my skin tone, but again, we're, we're gonna make it work. The shade is just off. They didn't have a lot of shades at the Dollar General. That's the only thing that sucks about getting makeup from places like that. They don't have a lot of variety when it comes to the shade range. Um, yeah, this is way too dark as you can see. I can just use a concealer brush to kind of blend that in as best as I can. I do not want this video to be a fail, so I'm gonna really try to work with these products. Okay, my brows look crazy. I don't really like the way that they look, but I don't hate the products. Does that make sense? I really need to get my eyebrows wax so that could be why they're not like looking too hot right now so I know that they're not perfect please don't kill me in the comments okay um, I do want to mention though I did use a little bit of the brow wax because I just tried to make them to look a little bit even but I know that they look different um, this brow wax is actually really really nice so I used a little bit of this with a little bit of the darker brow powders and I like the combo so this and the brow pencil I like it, not bad. I am gonna go in with the Broadway Colors Nude Eye Primer. I've actually tried this before and I really, really like this. I believe this is $3. The packaging on this kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I really actually like this. I had mine for a few months so I just decided to get rid of it because it was like really crusty. So I'm just gonna prime everywhere, bringing it up towards the brow bone. Doesn't conceal any discoloration or anything. It's kind of like a skin tone color but it's a really nice primer. It's like, I've really been into eyeshadow primers within the past couple of months, and this is like one of my favorites. I kind of just forget to talk about it sometimes, but it's actually really good. So now for eyeshadow palettes. So they didn't have a whole lot of like new eyeshadow palettes that I've never tried before. So I picked up the Broadway Colors eyeshadow kit. I don't believe that I tried this specific one. The first shade I'm gonna take is actually this one right here, and I'm just gonna pop that all over the lid, just so that I have a nice even canvas. And I believe this eyeshadow palette was $4. I did get some eye brushes here. These were a dollar each from the brand Beauty Accents. So I got a few different brushes, but I'm not gonna use them 
just yet. So I needed like a transition brush color. So I'm gonna just use a traditional brush that I have. This one right here is from JCat Beauty. And I'm just gonna be using this light transition shade. It's really pigmented. And I'm just gonna pop that right in the crease. This is a nice transition color. It's like a really nice, soft peachy brown. There is some fallout with it, but I mean like all of my eyeshadows have fallout, even like Anastasia, Huda Beauty, like. Then I'm gonna use this chocolate brown color, which looks really, really dark. And I'm gonna use this brush that I got from Amazon. I will leave the kit that I used down below. I'm gonna just take that and start buffing that on the outer crease. Okay, this color is a little light compared to in the pan, but I'm sure it's buildable. This brush is a little too big for what I want, so let me switch over to a smaller white-haired brush. The brown shade isn't that great. As you can see, there is lots of fallout, which again, that's not a big deal, but the color itself is like a little splotchy and it's just not very dark, like what I thought it was gonna be. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this LA Colors Nude Eyeshadow Palette. This was like $2 and this one is in the shade Bare It All. And I think I'm gonna try and go in with this color right here and see what we can do. It seems really, really pigmented. Just to kind of blend this out because it's looking a little splotchy. Oh yeah, I feel like that helped. I don't want to give up on this Broadway color eyeshadow palette here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, which shade do I want to use? Let's go in with this color right here. It's like a shimmer, or no, let's do this one right here. And I'm going to take that all over the lid and I'm actually going to use one of the brushes this is the eyeshadow brush from Beauty Accents. So I'm gonna dip my brush in here and then I'm gonna spray it because I always spray all of my eyeshadows for the most part. This brush isn't bad. Ideally, I would use something that's a little bit less like fluffy, like more of a concealer brush to pack on shades, but I wanted to test it out and honestly, it's not bad. So I'm gonna go into the LA Colors palette right here and I'm gonna try this shade out just to see what it looks like over top. It's pretty much like a very similar shade. I'm gonna dip and spray and I'm using this spray that I'm gonna be using later, the LA Colors Matte Setting Spray. This was like $4 and I've been going and trying to find it at so many different Dollar Generals and I finally found it. Ooh, that shade is really pretty. I do feel like the LA Colors eyeshadows are a little bit better than the Broadway Colors one, but yeah, like I feel like this little quad here is really, really cute, especially like for a beginner or if you just want something really quick and easy, that's cute. The Broadway Colors one, you do have to work with it a little bit more. Um, it's not like totally awful especially for that price point but i would much rather keep using this versus the broadway colors one like i feel like this eye right here is better so just adding a little bit more of that shimmer and if you have shorter nails it's probably much easier but it works really well with your finger as well Next up for eyeliner, I have the LA Colors Precise Eye Marker, and this was also, I believe, $2. This one's just in the shade Black. By the way, I also did apply my e.l.f. eye tapes, like always. They're my favorite. You can get them at any drugstore. They're like $2. Wow, that's actually really black. I do wish the tip was a little bit more flexible, but in general, I do like this as well. What is that? Oh, eyeshadow. Let me wipe that off before somebody thinks it's a hickey. <laughs> All 
Primer. So now for lashes, I'm actually super excited about this. I am gonna go in, I think with the shade, with the shade, with the style Bell. These are the Broadway Colors Mink Effect Collection 3D Volume Lashes. So these were $4, look how beautiful these look. So I think I'm gonna use these. They also do have the style Duchess, which looks super cute as well. But I'm gonna go with the shade. I keep saying shade, I'm gonna go with the style Bell because yeah, they look like perfect for this look. While the lashes dry really quick, I just kind of set them aside on top of the lash case. I'm just gonna go in with some mascara. This is the Broadway Colors Long Lashes Mascara, and this was $3. Ooh, this wand looks really nice. It's like curved, and I smell everything, but looks good. It's not doing a whole lot for me, to be honest with you, so I'm probably gonna end up using this as a brow gel for today's video because it seems really, really light and not really like volumizing, lengthening or anything, but I'm gonna just use it later on, so it's all good. And I'm also going to tightline my upper waterline. And to do this, I'm gonna use the LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil. And this one's just in the shade black. I have used this before and it's actually, it wasn't bad. Basically, I'm gonna just take this to line the upper waterline. That way there's no gaps in between my real lashes and the falsies that I'm gonna be using. I know this is really creepy. I usually don't do this on camera, honestly, but. Okay, I'm just gonna pop the lash on. And the glue will dry clear, so don't worry about that. I think these are really, really pretty. They're like fluffy and wispy and really dramatic, but like not too much. Like these are so pretty. They're really wispy and like dramatic, but you can still see the eye makeup and everything. So I like these. Okay, lashes are on. I did try to like fix the eyeliner and I feel like it looks thicker and uneven, but whatever. I do really like the lashes. They are super pretty and I would definitely repurchase them. And they're only $4, so I think it's a steal if you're looking for some really nice, dramatic looking lashes. So those double thumbs up. It's probably my favorite thing that I've tried so far that is new. Let's jump into the face now. So I'm gonna start off by priming with the Broadway colors face primer this one is the mattifying version I've actually tried the pore minimizing one I have it in my collection let me just show you this one right here I tried this before I actually really really like it so hopefully this mattifying one will be good I'm gonna just focus this on my t-zone area not really the rest of my face so I'll probably use the blurring pores one on the rest of my face oh I'm not gonna like this this is a silicone primer yeah, silicone primers for me lately do the opposite. They make me more oily versus matte. But if you like silicone primers, here we go, we have one. Yeah, they just don't work with my skin anymore. I used to use silicone primers all the time in high school, but my skin has changed so much. So I'm gonna use the Blurring Pores one. This kind of has a similar consistency to the Benefit Professional, but I like this one more. I don't really love the Benefit Professional, but it has like that sort of consistency. Now we're gonna jump into foundation. So I just wanna really quickly mention, I have used this LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation before, and I wanted to give it a shout out because it is amazing. If you have oily skin, 10 out of 10 recommend it. And they actually do have a dewy version, which I tried to find and they didn't have it. So I'm probably gonna have to order the dewy one online, but I wanted to give a shout out to the matte one because it is bomb so i did decide to get this which i don't know how well this is going to work because there's literally only two shades but this is the broadway bb cream so it says light finish satin matte finish and this one is in beige glow and ivory so i'm going to mix the two if this doesn't work i'm going to go in with the la colors one so we'll see i'm literally just going to mix the two and i did get a new sponge this is the Dollar General Body Precise Coverage Blending Sponge. This was like two or three dollars. It actually feels really, really nice and bouncy. So I'm gonna use this on one side, and then on the other side, I'm gonna use one of these brushes. These were only like a dollar or two, which is crazy. The Broadway Colors Large Oval Brush. This is like a face brush. So I'm gonna use both of those today. So I'm gonna just take my finger just to mix these two shades and see what I come up with. What's the coverage on this? Cause I feel like it's gonna be really sheer. Set and matte finish. Yeah, it's lightweight. So this isn't really, yeah, this is not gonna be super cool coverage. I'm gonna just blend this out with the sponge fully. The sponge is actually really nice. Super bouncy. 
It's a little hard. Like they do have another beauty sponge set. It comes in a pack of three. That one I really like the black sponge in it. That one I prefer over this one. This one's not bad, but that one's a little bit softer and bouncier. Doesn't look terrible. It just looks like a really natural tinted moisturizer, but this color is like totally off, which I kind of expected. I just figured I would get it just to try to make it work, but it's just, it's straight up orange. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna go in with the LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation and try to hopefully make this work. This one's in soft beige. I know you're probably thinking, why would you not just wipe the whole thing off and start over? No. I just really wanted to see how that BB cream would work because I know that this foundation is amazing. So I wanted to see if even though the shade was off, if the foundation would look good, but it doesn't. Or the BB cream, technically. It's not really even a foundation. I haven't used a brush like this in like a really long time. But the actual brush itself is really, really nice. It's like super soft. You see how seamless that blended that in? It does take a little bit longer, I feel like, with brushes like this sometimes because you really have to like focus on blending. Whereas with like a beauty sponge, you just like pat it in and you're good to go. But that was nice. See how creamy this foundation is? I love it. This brush is really, really good. Wow, I'm super impressed. Okay, so that I really, really do like together. The only other thing I'm gonna do is kinda just pounce everything a little bit more into the skin since I do have two layers of product in, just so nothing looks cakey. Okay, now for concealer, I do have that concealer cream that from earlier that I used to clean up my brows. This is gonna be too dark, so what I'm gonna do is mix. And I feel like there isn't a lot of product in here, like I have to keep tipping. So just a little FYI. I'm not complaining, by the way. There's so many people in my last Dollar General video who were saying that like, I'm not, what's the word? Like I'm a spoiled brat, it's cheap makeup. Like why am I being so harsh? I am testing this makeup out as if it was high-end makeup. Like I'm always gonna be honest with you guys whether a product is $100 or whether the product is $1. Like it doesn't matter to me where the product is from. If it's not good, I'm gonna tell you. If it's great, I'm gonna tell you. So definitely not a spoiled brat. I grew up shopping at places like this. Like me and my mom, we used to get my a lot of my clothes from like Goodwill and stuff. And like there's nothing wrong with that. So definitely far from spoiled. Yeah, this sponge isn't great. I definitely prefer the other one that I told you guys about. That one's the bomb. I got this concealer, the LA Colors Cover Up Concealer Stick. I'm gonna try this out and just go over top in light beige. I don't think this is gonna do much for me either as far as coverage, but it feels really hard like on the skin. And I'm gonna use another one of these brushes. This is the small oval brush. Okay, so, so far I'm not impressed with any of the face products that I used, like the new products, because you guys know I love the Truly Matte Foundation and the Blurring Pores Primer is really good, but like the Mattifying Primer I don't love and this BB Cream I was not obsessed with, the concealers, there's no coverage and I just feel like they're just not the best formula. Okay, I have a new product here, the LA Colors loose powder this one is the loose powder in shade light i've actually used this before and the reason i didn't like it was because there's crazy flashback so you've been warned but i'm going to use it again today because i love translucent powder to set versus regular powder so i'm going to just use my sponge just to kind of bake a little bit And then to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the Broadway Colors Press Powder. This one is in light beige. Look how cute this packaging is. It's like legit, like nice packaging. To do this, I'm gonna use the Total Face Brush. Like a little powder brush, looks really good. The handles on these are nice for like how affordable they are. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I feel like you can see a lot of my facial hair. Like my little peach fuzz, I need to shave my face. 
All right, cool. So what I'm gonna do now is just bronze, blush, highlight, all that, because I really need to bronze the rest of my chest because the contrast is, <laughs> it's bad. So for bronzer, that pressed powder is actually nice. I do like it. The translucent powder also isn't bad. The only thing is that there is a white cast. I'm gonna use the LA Colors bronzer. This one is in Beach Babe. I've actually never tried this before. Okay. I feel like this, I need to like fluff this brush out a little bit because I haven't really used it so it's like still kind of stiff. So I'm gonna save that brush. I'm gonna just use a different powder brush to bronze. This is a really nice warm bronzer. Probably not the best for contouring if you like something a little bit more ashy tone, but for bronzing the skin and just adding some color back, I think it's really nice. Let's bronze this chest, shall we? I'm gonna use an e.l.f. 101 brush and I'm just gonna bronze it up. I could have dragged the foundation obviously down all the way to the rest of my chest. I just personally don't like doing that. So this is like my little trick. I like to just put bronzer all the way down because I feel like doing the bronzer is a lot easier and less messy than foundation. And I just, I don't feel the need to have to do that with the foundation. It's just a waste of product to be honest. So if you ever need to balance things out, just bronze your chest. And it looks, obviously doesn't look perfect, but it looks better. At least I think so. But then you look at my hands and it's like, whoo, cool. That bronzer, I really like. So now for blush, I'm gonna go in with the Broadway Colors Powder Cheek Palette. This one is in the shade Summer. I actually love these blush palettes. I have the shade Spring, which is like a lighter version of this. And I think this is gonna be really pretty for summer. So I'm gonna be using a clean brush. This one's from Sigma. And I'm gonna just take and mix all three of the blushes. Super pigmented. It's a very bright palette, so yeah. <laughs> I think this would be nice for tanner skin tones, especially if you like bright colored blushes like this. Really pretty. I do like that blush a lot. I just realized I have this little Broadway Colors Contour Artist Powder Palette, so I'm gonna actually use this to contour a little bit. I should've used this before. It was like underneath a bunch of products, so I'm gonna just take a little bit of this ashy tone color right here. This was like $3, and I'm gonna just contour. I just do a little bit, like just to give me like a little natural. Okay, there's nothing natural about this, but you know what I mean. Like just a little shadow there. And then I'm gonna use that brush that I used earlier for my transition color. And I'm gonna just use a little bit of that right down my nose. Below my lip. I'm also gonna go ahead and set my brows. I'm gonna use that mascara from earlier, which didn't really work that great for my eyes. So I'm gonna just improvise and use it as a brow mascara. And then for highlight, I'm gonna use the LA Colors Show Off Blush and Highlight Palette. I'm gonna just, I really honestly just bought this for this highlight shade right here because the blushes in here are way too light. I know that they would never show up on my skin. But LA Colors actually does have a strobing highlight, which is really, really pretty. I used it in my last Dollar General video. I still have it in my collection. But yeah, I already used that one, so I wanted to use something different today, so that's why I got this palette. I'm gonna use my Anastasia number 23 brush. I know, so extra using an Anastasia brush for these products. It's my favorite brush. I feel like this will work with any highlight, so that's why I wanna give these products a fair shot. That is really pretty well. So pretty, wow. That's nice. I'm also gonna pop that in the inner corners. I almost forgot, I have to do my lower lashes. I'm gonna keep it super simple though. I'm probably gonna just use um, that same brown color from earlier. Oh wow, this highlighter is so pretty. It's really, really intense. I'm gonna just use that brush that I used earlier. It doesn't have any 
new eyeshadow on it. It's just like has additional product on it from earlier just to run that really quick on the lower lashes. I want to keep the lower lash line really, really simple. Uh, yeah, barely. I don't like this mascara. Okay, now for lip products. I'm gonna first go in with the Broadway Colors Butter Matte Lip Cream. This one has mango butter, shea butter, cocoa butter, and this one's in the shade Hope. So Avi, I went with the nude. Come on camera, focus. Okay, so this kind of reminds me of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. Mmm, smells really good. Oh, I like this applicator too. It's kind of pointed. Oh wow, this is really peach. Oh yeah, this feels like this NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. Mmm, they smell really good. I'm just gonna top that off with the Broadway Colors True Matte Lipstick in Nude Rose. I'm just trying to use like all the products that I got. Come on camera, focus! There we go. It's a little bit more of a mauve tone nude. Did I tell you the shade? It's in Nude Rose. Lipsticks like this are really nice because they're so affordable. You can just throw them in your bag and just kind of have it for like a touch-up color throughout the day. This is a nice shade together. I like both of them more versus just the other one because it's a little too pinky for me, but this is cute. Let's do a little swatch. Yeah, like that's really, really pretty and it's nice, you know, just to kind of have in your bag. Okay, the final thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and set my makeup. I'm going to use the LA Colors Matte Setting Spray. Alright guys, so this is the completed makeup look. All in all, I don't mind the way that this looks. I feel like if I were to go outside right now, which I actually am, I have a bunch of errands to run today, <laughs> I don't really think anybody is going to notice like, oh, she's wearing Dollar General makeup. I feel like if maybe you were to look at me super up close into detail, maybe you might see my eyebrows don't look perfect, my eyeshadow isn't the best, and my liner is totally uneven. But. With that being said, nobody's gonna be looking at me like that. So I think overall the look is really pretty. I did have quite a few hits, quite a few misses, but in general, I feel like Dollar General is where it's at. They do have some really great products for a really great price. Not only for beginners, but just people who are makeup lovers. And if you wanna try out some new products, I think Dollar General is a great place to go if you don't wanna spend a lot of money, which I mean, who doesn't love to save money? So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown on the products that I didn't like first. So first thing you guys know, I didn't like the BB cream. I really didn't like any of the face products that I tried. I didn't like this. I didn't like the primer just because it was a silicone based primer and I didn't like the concealers because they gave me no coverage. The BB cream also didn't give me any coverage, which I mean, I kind of expected because it's a BB cream, it's meant to be light, but I just wasn't a fan of the way that it looked and the shade range is off. The Broadway Color Eyeshadow Kit, it wasn't terrible, but it also wasn't great. To be honest, you guys, I'm not obsessed with the shadows. Like, the LA Colors ones are definitely better than the Broadway Colors one, but if you're looking for really great eyeshadows at a really low cost, definitely check out Wet n Wild, CoverGirl. Um, there's just so many other brands, Milani, that have really great eyeshadows. The Eyebrow Kit wasn't terrible, again, but it, it's not something that I could see myself using just because I prefer a brow pomade, but it wasn't... It wasn't bad. The eye marker that I used from LA Colors, I liked it. I like how black it was, but I don't love the applicator. I feel like the tip is like really hard to work with a little bit. Like it was easy to do the wing, but it wasn't. I felt like I had to keep going over it a couple of times and I just wish that it was a little bit more flexible. The mascara, I did not like. The translucent powder also wasn't a fan of it. Like it's not awful, but it's also not the best powder ever. I definitely have other favorites. Also wasn't a fan of this sponge. I feel like it's a little bit, like it's bouncy, but it's a little bit too hard also when you apply your product. So I'm gonna pass on that. Okay, I think those are all of the like misses. Everything else I really enjoyed. The brushes that I used so far, obviously I didn't use all of them because I felt like I didn't need all of them for my look. I really, really liked these. I was super impressed. And especially with this foundation brush, I feel like this is like, I wish it was a little bit bigger, but this is really good just for like buffing things in and and it just blended everything seamlessly. Obviously, I'll have to keep using this to see how my makeup is gonna wear throughout the day. I will leave a pinned comment letting you guys know, but I always have to use setting sprays at least like two, three times to really know if they work. And this so far though is really nice. I like the spritzer and it felt nice on the skin. The blush and highlight palette, obviously I didn't use the blushes, I just used the highlight palette in here from LA Colors. This was nice, I liked it, very intense and um, you can see it's it's nice. The lashes, oh my goodness, the lashes are absolutely amazing. I'm gonna like repurchase all of these because they are beautiful. I didn't use the style, I used the style Belle, but I love them. I think that they're great on their own or with a more dramatic look. 
love it. The eyeshadow primer, like I said, I've used that before and I really like it. I also really did like the matte lip cream. They kind of remind me of the NYX soft matte lip cream. So if you like those, I think you would like these. The LA Colors bronzer, I also did love. I love how warm it is. It's perfect for bronzing the skin, bronzing the chest. I feel like it just, it looks really good. So I like it. I also really did like this lipstick. I don't know how long wearing this is gonna be, but like as far as touching up or just adding a quick lip color throughout the day, I think it is nice. The pressed powder, oh, I almost dropped it. The pressed powder is also really nice. I'll have to see if this has any flashback in it, but it feels really smooth and creamy. And I feel like for setting your face, it's nice. Blush kit is also really nice. Like I said, I tried the lighter version. I think the darker version, ver version, version. <laughs> the darker version is just as good. It's just a darker, brighter version of it. How many times did I just say version? I also wanted to mention this little fan brush. I forgot to use it, but I did use a little bit just to add some extra glow. And this was nice. So this was from Broadway Colors as well. And this was a cute little fan brush. So if you like fan brushes to apply your highlights, this is good. So all in all, I am very, very very impressed. I think these products are great and it just goes to show that you really don't need to spend a lot of money to get some bomb products. Like we have a lot of great things here. Eyeshadow primer, lashes, powder, setting spray, brushes. So if you're on a budget or even if you're not, you just want to try out some great things, check out your local Dollar General because you can't beat it. Obviously it's like anything, even at the drugstore, I have products that are hits and misses and even at Sephora, there's things that I really like and things that I don't like. So same goes here. But overall, I think I had some really great products here and I can't wait to keep using them in future videos. So leave me your favorites from Dollar General down below in the comments. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you love affordable things and if you liked the video. Thank you guys so much for everything. I love you all and I'll see you soon.